Hey guys, welcome to Generation Snow. We are here at Mount Snow, Vermont, and today we are going to talk about how to ski your first black run. Okay, so first of all, what is a black run? Well, in the US, generally, any run that is over 40 degrees, uh, sorry, 40%, which is about 22 degrees, uh, will be considered black diamond. Uh, and if it is an unpiested uh, run that is that steep, they will normally rate it a double black. Okay, so that's kind of like the difference between black and double black. Double black is ungroomed, all right? They don't smooth it out, so you'll get moguls, etc. Obviously, for your first black run, do not pick a double black, just pick a black. And, uh, you know, you can ask a local, ask around, and try to find a black run that is uh, perhaps just graded for the hardest section, and the other parts of it are kind of easier, more like blue, etc. So today we got this, uh, we got this shoot single black diamond here in Mount Snow. Um, and so we're going to go down, and on the way, uh, we will answer some more questions. We'll talk about a few things as we go down. Um, but first of all, just, uh, you know, as you start, don't think you have to bomb down. Take nice wide turns. Take it easy. You can have a few breaks. So anyway, let's start making some turns. As you're going down, uh, you will notice there's quite a lot of ice uh, on this run. And so what you want to do when there's ice, um, well, first of all, you want to pick a nice bluebird day, okay? So today we've got reasonably clear sky, so you can see a lot of the detail in the snow, right? That's really important uh, because the last thing you want to be doing is doing your first black run when you have flat light and you can't see any detail. You're much more likely to hit a patch of ice or whatever. I'll show you some footage of what that looks like very easy to wipe out, okay? And you compare that with uh, you know, what we're seeing today uh, where you can see all the little detail. Secondly, when you hit a patch of ice, um, do not dig your edge in, okay? You wanna just let the ice take you. Don't fight it because if you fight it and you try to turn on ice, um, you're gonna you're gonna wipe out, okay? So you hit a patch of ice uh, and we'll try and demonstrate. You can follow me, I'll show you. You just ease off on your edges. Just let the ice take you until you find a nice patch of snow where you can dig your edge back in again and do your turn, okay? So that's why it's really important not to have flat light. You need to pick a nice bluebird or reasonably bluebird day like we've got today. All right, follow me down. Let's demonstrate. Let's see if we can hit some ice. If I dig an edge in on that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe out. So what I need to do is just as I come down, just let it take me and uh, slide across it. Don't try to dig in, and you'll be all good. Right, let's see if we can find a few more. And you can see what I've done here is, um, you know, when you're going across the run, don't be afraid to turn, okay? Because that's another thing. Um, 
you know, if you're afraid to turn, you come all the way to the side like I just did on purpose to show you, um, but you might end up either in the woods or on another run, okay, another trail that's merging with it. So do make sure that you, um, you know, you do turn uh, because otherwise if you're winding all the way across the slope one, uh, it can be a little dangerous because, you know, there might be people who are kind of more straight lining it down and you might get in their path. All right, technically you've got the right of way because you're the downhill skier, but people don't expect someone to use up the entire slope. Um, so, you know, make wide turns, but don't use the entire slope. But also, don't get stuck at the edge, right? Because now you're at the edge, you're like, oh my God, how do I turn? I don't want to go onto that slope, there. I have to like, look like an idiot. <laughs> And now we've got this sort of final, really steep bit here, um, which, uh, you know, this, this is pretty steep, okay? This would be pretty steep for some people, um, this part. So what you need to do, really, uh, you've got a really nice flat section at the end. Um, so you can just kind of go forward and, and bomb it and try not to worry, try not to get scared as you pick up speed, as long as you've got a nice flat section in front of you, okay? So let's, uh, let's try this final steep section. Stop All right, guys, cool. thanks for watching. For uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you later.